So here I am about to get some primer onto the last of the doors. This is a left hand front door. This is one of the ones that I did actually get as a second hand door because the door that was on this car originally was just uh, totally knackered. Some of you may remember that the whole way through the top there, it was just totally rusted out and there was nothing left of it. Um, so this one here, I actually found it on like Facebook Marketplace or something like that. I think it cost me 400 or 500 bucks, something like that. It actually did come sandblasted, but yeah, it was, it didn't look that bad because it was in like some etch primer when I first got it. It wasn't until like I actually started scuffing it down that I realized like the whole thing was kind of covered in like dents the whole way through. There was a little bit here where it was actually like the, this two skins, like the outer skin was actually um, breaking away. So I did have to do like a little bit of a, I just ground it back even further and then sort of like welded it back up with the MIG welder. Um, yeah, apart from that, like I've been using these, these things here are called splines. So they're in a, they're from an Australian company actually. I don't know. I don't know, it doesn't seem that um, many people from like the America or you know even Canada, the, the ones that I've spoken to like use them but over here they'll use them to like do your filler application and even do the sanding. Um, I spoke to one guy who actually gave me the idea to get some um, just velcro right so you can you can stick a bit of velcro onto the back of it and I've done it on this one here you can see that. I've stuck a bit of velcro and then you can just get like whatever normal sanding block stick that to it and then just do your blocking like that because I, I couldn't hold it properly um, but yeah the beauty of these basically um, I actually find them more than anything more useful for their filler application like what happened yesterday or it was last night actually um, there was like a little bit of a low spot through here so I'd already filled the entire door but there was like a little bit of a low spot through there somewhere Anyway, you, you whack the filler in just with a normal applicator, then you get, I actually got this, this extra long one there, and it doesn't sort of discriminate, like it knows, um, and it, it, it doesn't have much flex in it, it's got a little bit, um, so it, it, will, it will just apply it just so neat and tight and exactly, basically exactly where it needs it, to the point that it really only needs like a few, a few swipes with the block, and it's basically dead straight, so... Um, yeah, really, really helpful. There was a little bit there that I did have to reapply a little bit of filler. Um, and the reason I blocked through here and here be was because that line there was like, a, it must have been like a touch low through there. So I was sort of using uh, that polyester for what it's designed for. Ultimately, again, there was a little bit that I did have to um, refill down the bottom there. But apart from that, looking pretty good. I just changed the filters out on my um, exhaust cabin uh, filter there. Um, I've actually got an inlet filter there too, so I might actually do a separate video on the entire setup that I've got, but it's pretty good. Like, it's pretty much at the point where I'm, I'm going to leave it for what I'm looking for. Like, from what I'm, the kind of work that I'm doing out of here, it seems to be doing the job. As you may see, I've actually installed a fan up over there as well. And as I say, there's an inlet one here, filtered, so that's always good that I'm not going to be blowing in um, any excessive dust and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, this is going to be the last of the doors to go into um, polyurethane primer. So just, yeah, normal two-pack urethane primer. Um, so that one there, obviously left-hand rear door. That was the worst of all of the doors. And I've actually gone and... Um, I've gone and ordered in a paint thickness gauge, also known as a micrometer, so I'll be able to go and see how deep it is. I mean, it might be so deep that the micrometer can't even read, because <laughs> yeah, it's it's that thing was really really bad. But we got some solid steel back in there, and I got a feeling it's gonna last. And yeah, it's all good. Um, that's the other two doors again, same same position. Um, they're looking really good and nice and straight once I get this done I'm actually thinking of just <laughs> this garage because of doing all these repairs and that and stripping all that original paint off it's collected a lot of, a lot and a lot of dust so I'm thinking get this into primer and then I just need to maybe even actually get the car out and have a like proper clean up clean the car itself out give it a good vacuum out and then sort of a bit of a reset and sort of decide what I'm going to do next but 
possibly just go on with panel by panel. Look, um, one beautiful thing about doing it panel by panel is that you learn something as you go. Like, you're always learning. Like, I've been doing this for, what, 22 years now? And I'm still learning. And I guess part of it is, like, I don't do the restoration stuff uh, at work always. And, sure, I have done it over the years, but... Um, yeah, the, like every job's a little bit different and you might be using different materials and then it can it can sort of, you can refine your methods a little bit better as you go. Sometimes you just sort of like be like, oh yeah, like this this product likes to be applied that way. So you'll, you'll sort of, um, you'll learn as you go rather than trying to get the whole thing done at the same time. Then if you do, um, you know, figure something out or figure a better way to do it, it's like, well, you've done the whole thing anyway. So yeah, that's, that's another thing I was just wanting to mention. Um, I'm still actually waiting on one of my mates to come over and give me a little bit of a hand on that back panel. Um, but, you know, it's all good. We'll get that done um, at some stage, but... Thanks for hanging around to the end guys. So in the next video, we're gonna be doing the filler work on the roof as you can see there. So yeah, we'll be doing the filler work and then I'll have to spray some polyester spray filler on that too. And at the end of doing that roof, I actually came up with a awesome hack for doing body filler work. So be sure to stay around for the coming videos and I will show you guys. Anyway, until next time, get out there and paint some shit coming out.